bring in uh, Brian Regan. He's playing Caroline's all weekend. I'm telling you, man. We go every time he's in town. We laugh our yam bag. No like pesky it. networks to get to on uh, this show, yeah. Ron there and Fez. There he is. Hey. hey. Brian. Hey, guys. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Good to see you back. You know, uh, last time, if I recall, last time you were on our program, we had a fun little show. It was uh, Rat Day. It was Rat <laughs> Eating <laughs> Day. <laughs> the Year of the Rat and the Opie and Anthony show. That was yeah. great, man. We had uh, people in here eating cooked rats. That's right. For, uh, you know, Survivor. Everyone was doing nice. the Survivor yeah, I remember that. No, yeah. This, we can't even do the bit justice. I mean, no, it was so bad. I mean, uh, the, the rats came into the studio live. live. The subway? Rats. Were they subway rats? Uh, yeah, they were uh, big, gnarly rats. They were rats. huge. They, they were, they were uh, like from another planet. Kind of <laughs> yeah, they were, they were frightening. So, so they had to be put under and then skinned. Put under? <laughs> you, make it sound like, you make it sound like you gave him a little needle, made him count backwards from 100, and he woke yeah. up and got ice cream. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to say they were killed. You he know, was clobbered <laughs> over the head with a meat tenderizer. The rats are no longer with us. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, the only reason I put it that way is because I'm staring at your lovely wife there, and I didn't want to, like, offend her. Oh, that's that's very uh, nice. You, you should know that the, the the rats had a pretty brutal death. Oh, and, they beat oh, them to death. And in the middle horrible. of this, and in the middle of this whole thing, we're going, Brian, you got some material on this, right? <laughs> we're hoping that Brian's yeah. gonna make people laugh. Do your twenty minute chunk <laughs> about rat death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rats thought Mussolini got off easy in the uh, town square there. What? what? <laughs> that's pretty uh, much it. What's with these rat sandwiches? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Why is it every time you're trying? to slaughter a rat, they put up a fuss. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting to where you can't even skin a live rat anymore without people getting all bent out of shape. Oh, that's cool. that's uh, then they were cooked and, uh, and eaten, and eaten yeah. by some of our uh, listeners. There were uh, competing chefs. You had two oh, different yes. chefs yes. that were each trying to prepare them we had the, in their own succulent way. <laughs> we had the French chef and uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer guy. Yeah, the French chef prepared Prepared it with some kind of. I am making this uh, rat au poivre. <laughs> it is going to be wonderful with a black pepper sauce. And the other guy's like, I'm going to put it on a stick and roast it on an open socket. Like he just didn't even have a cooking utensil. He just like was plugging the rat into a wall. <laughs> it was hey, if I can stick his tail into this socket yeah. here. He'll cook, believe me. <laughs> My wife went this way. <laughs> you know, this guy was insane. So, yes. did you guys eat? Them? I didn't no, eat no, any. No, that no, would no, be insane. No, no. That was the day we knew Brian kind of liked our, our show because we're like, Brian, listen, man, you can leave whenever you want. He goes, no, <laughs> oh, I got another two hours to kill. That <laughs> oh, was awful. <laughs> I got like a sick side to me that uh, just wanted to enjoy it. There were actually, you had listeners that came in to, yeah. to eat the rats. Yeah. You know, and I'm thinking there's going to be either zero or one lunatic out there. We go out in the waiting room, there's like, you know, 15 guys yeah. all milling around, you know. Can, can I eat the rat? Uh, what do I got to do? How do I get in the front of the line? You know, Is it cooked yet? <laughs> Scrumptious. A watched rat never cooked. <laughs> so welcome back to the show. Yeah, welcome Friday. back to the show. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. We're looking uh, forward to seeing you, Caroline's. We have always, our- always a brilliant set. Yeah, we won't Caroline's. be there tonight because we have our Christmas party. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, Those are always fun. Should uh, join us after the Christmas party. Maybe uh, you're doing the early show tonight, right? Uh, I think you got it. Yeah, one, one show. show. Eight o'clock. Call it early or late. It's, it's, it's the show. Just the only show. <laughs> I don't know what kind of time thing you want to put on there. It's, I think they call it the eight o'clock show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, both, Ouch. that's both early and uh, late. Yeah. Right. It's kind of right in between there. I mean, for toddlers, wow. That's a late <laughs> that's show. That's a late show for right. the toddler. Sure. They got to be in bed like at seven. Yeah, right. So for them. They're going to be sitting in there going, I can't stay awake. <laughs> uh, let's say there were two shows what would this be considered <laughs> thank you <laughs> well take friday for example they have an eight o'clock show and a ten thirty. therefore the eight is the referred to as the early show <laughs> right actually i don't know what time the shows are friday and saturday there's, it there's is probably the caroline's people going those aren't the show times doesn't he know how to plug a weekend <laughs> what is he doing no i i, I checked it out it is uh eight and ten thirty. Ten thirty friday, um, and, friday saturday. and saturday okay. and, and then one only show on one Sunday. show one the, show on Sunday. To really confuse show. people, now Sunday show is at uh, 9.30. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't see no. that one. Is it? Yeah, it's at 9.30. Tonight oh, I can go to the Sunday show. Tonight's one show at 8. 
Sunday's one show at 9.30. Unless you're in New Zealand where it's <laughs> Friday right now. We should just completely... I think there's a 7.45, but the Central Time show is at 8.15, and then at 3.40, it takes about an hour drive. So on Saturday with the third show, when they do add it, it's at midnight. But then the Sunday, which is now 9.30, used to be 8.15, and tonight's show, therefore, is 8 o'clock. <laughs> with an adjoining flight out of Cleveland. That's right. You have to make the right, connection, of course. Connection. To, a little slower. Let me get this. <laughs> There's people out there, you know, I was going to go, but after this headache. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to miss uh, tonight, but we're going to go tomorrow, Brian. I want you to know that. Cool. Because uh, we're going to be on the Ron and Fez show tonight after our Christmas party when we're really tanked. Now, it's you're you're invited to come in. I, uh, wh where's the party? Drink. Right here. Right here. Right oh, here. Right here the... yeah. We've got enemas. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Again. case closed. I'm here. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian, listen to what these six the idea. Are, are doing tonight. Now, I think this is a, a, a TV show in Sweden. Mm -hmm. All right, so a guy's coming in. We're actually flying him in for this. He's taking an enema, and he's going to stand in a kiddie pool. <laughs> Everybody gets to tell him a joke. <laughs> And whenever he drops his ass, that guy wins. <laughs> you, you'll know when you're now, the funny guy. Uh, yeah, I'm hearing, uh, you know, O and A saying all week how you're the funniest man alive. I think Regan could be the ringer. <laughs> you somehow blew best uh, G. David Howard when I didn't see what was happening. Last time I saw Regan without an enema, I crapped myself really? in the seat at Caroline's. So, but well, you were sick. I remember. Guy, yeah, that yeah. yeah. Happens. You were on the cusp yeah. to begin with. Right. Yeah, were, what I want to know is why the guy has to be flown in from. Sweden. For this. You know, isn't there a guy like down the road you can grab? To... I can't tell you how good his agent was. We just, we just fell for the whole thing. Yeah, we want them. We get people to eat rats and stuff. You'd right. think somebody could accept right. an enema. Well, right. No, we got go to go. Maybe he's Sweden. the pro guy. Though. I, I, if you want to take an O and A listener and let them come in. If no, you know, that's no, no, that's okay. No, no. You wouldn't want to see what you? comes out of that. Probably, probably a rat. Is it your stalker Patty? Is it your angel Amy? Oh, she might do it stalker for rent. Patty's right outside. Outside the studio. Oh, Did you hear her hard story? No. She's gonna be homeless on the thirty first. She could. Have, she has a hundred bucks a month for rent, and she wants to live in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. You know where she should live is a nineteen thirty one. Really, they they get a really so. nice place for two hundred yeah. bucks <laughs> of available rooms. <laughs> sure. God damn uh, right. I'd love to see her. <laughs> when you put in the search though on the internet, when you're looking for homes, I haven't seen the the year. You know what year are you looking for? Boy, that would be a plus. <laughs> you got a big place, right, Oak? Uh no. No, not that yeah, big. <laughs> you no. got the treehouse. She could get lost in one of those rooms. I know you got a big couch. I'm going to offer up your office if you don't shut yeah, up, Ron. Right. Hey, Opie's apartment is like, you ever been to the Swiss Family Robinson house at Disney? Yeah. yeah. I swear to God, it's just like it. I, There's stairs that go nowhere. Yeah. There's like these little cubby hole rooms where like just, elves and gnomes live. It gives me plenty of places to hide. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's like you go up the steps and there's just like a brick wall there yeah, or something. Yeah. That, that's where they hid like Anne Frank, right? You know, <laughs> one of those kind of deals. Yeah, the Anne like Frank a, house. Anne Frank up in his, up in his <laughs> attic. So Patty could stay there. Fez Alley painting. Fez has that, but he has the Barney Frank house. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> different. The Barney Frank diary. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. Yeah, that's it's a different. little different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of pe uh, people want to check in. Al, real fast. We got Brian Regan in the studio playing Caroline's all weekend long. Al? Hey, guys, how hey. you doing? Hey, I just want to let Brian Regan know if he plans on making any of his shows this weekend, stay off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that>. Noted. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we got to explain uh, yeah. uh, something. Uh, so I'm the only guy that doesn't get what this guy's talking about. And we're all playing. Hey, absolutely stay off the yeah. buses. <laughs> Uh, Brian, um, we haven't seen you in a while. Thank God you weren't here last Thursday because oh my God. 15 people associated with this very here radio show got arrested. Got arrested. Um, oh. Yeah, that was a fun day. <laughs> that was good. Anyway. We had uh, something called the uh, Voyeur Bus, and uh, it drives around uh, the city. It's mm -hmm. got glass sides on it. It's totally visible to everybody inside, uh, full of nude girls. <laughs> and um, you drive it through the city because it's legal. Yeah. Yeah, well, we thought so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had a couple of people, uh, Louis Black from uh, Comedy Central. Right. Sure. He, had, he was on the bus. He um, was nude? Uh, yeah, <laughs> completely nude. That's where we effed up, because that is illegal. <laughs> to have uh, nude comics. There's a very explicit statute <laughs> yes. against Louis Black Lewis being nude. Louis Black. <laughs> and he was arrested with uh, other people on the bus and the girls and taken uh, into custody for 28 hours, where he had to go to the tombs and stay in jail. <laughs> 
So how far did you guys uh, analyze this legally? When you, when you say, hey, it's legal, you know, I, I, I don't see any legal law books in here that you guys were consulting. You know? <laughs> yeah, the you just, wall of books you like You just in assume LA it's law. legal until they get arrested. <laughs> Sorry, we thought it was legal. We thought it was in a bus. I, 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 I got the clip of our producer, Rick, just uh, when the S was hitting the fan. Yeah. Check out this really quick quote, uh, Brian. This is, this is legal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the time. the cop. He said that right before they cuffed him. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want your uh, defense attorney to say when he stands up and it's his turn. Well, this is legal, right, John? Right, isn't it? Can we check now? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, well, then I rest my case. <laughs> 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 what a mess that was. Yeah, so stay off the bus, I guess. Yes, I you will. wouldn't. I don't think you'd have gone on the bus in the first place. Well, I was on a bus nude today, but <laughs> Are you? they didn't have the glass windows or nothing. <laughs> so so. That's where we effed up. But that's legal, I think. <laughs> I think it's legal, isn't that's it? That's how I live my life. It's, the, it's legal, I think, philosophy. Yeah. This sheep, this barnyard animal, this is legal, isn't it, officer? <laughs> For me to be with it at night in a motel? It's legal, I think. Sure. <laughs> This is, this is legal, isn't it? <laughs> he was he was panicked. It was so funny. Well, not to yeah. not to him. It was fun, <laughs> it was it was funny because we weren't there. Yeah, we were going to go on the bus, but yeah. we decided against it. So did everybody on the bus get hauled? Everyone down? Everyone got the... hauled down. Fifteen people, all of them, girls, the guys, everyone arrested. Just another day on the the fun filled show. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. Who, who, who knew? We thought it was legal. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we take a break? Brian Regan in studio. Playing Caroline's, uh, wow, many shows with many different times. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get all the times uh, and dates straight. I think he just started five minutes ago. <laughs> right. yeah. the They're looking for him. <laughs> uh, why don't you call Caroline's? 212-757-4100. Brian Regan at Caroline's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and uh, we'll be back with him next. Hey, Anthony, the cable modem from Cablevision. Yes, Opie. You think, uh, did you get yours yet? No. You think Brian Regan does that uh, that surfing, that, that web surfing? How are you with the uh, internet? Do, do you surf the web there? You're uh, savvy, Brian? Uh, I wouldn't say savvy. I, I've been on the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know. His wife's just going, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> I've been on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I've been through the internet. <laughs> you've, you've been on. You've been on the information highway, huh? Yes. <laughs> Hanging oh. ten. What, what do you do? Yeah. A few tricks and then you get off. I, I, don't, or? I, I don't. I don't know how to get out when I'm in there. So. I've used an ATM. <laughs> something. Yeah. No. You. You got to get. A, you got to get wired to it. It's the net. It's the future. Yeah, I don't. I don't uh, no. I, I went in one chat room one time. Oh, those are the bad things. Just and, and I and I wanted to make sure I didn't go into one of those like scary ones, you know, that's really dirty or anything. Right. Because I didn't know anything about it, so I, I go to like, um, you know, um, like news, like news, you know, current events, you know. Yeah. So I go in there. I go in there. I don't even like say anything, you know. I don't click on. I don't say anything. I didn't realize that your name pops up on a screen. Yeah. So, like, within three seconds, I got, like, nine emails going, hey, you, I know what you're into, and, you know, <laughs> email me back, and I'm like, what? It's current events. How, how do you know what I'm into? <laughs> yeah. I'm into That's because every room is just a filthy, dirty, nasty room. No matter what the title is, you know, it could yeah. be the most wholesome, you know, mm -hmm. helping people out. Yeah, I know how to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Teresa. Yeah. That seems safe. Ooh, and her daughter. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> and a glass bus. Nude. <laughs> totally nude. <laughs> totally nude radio. Yeah, uh, well, well, if you're going to get on the internet, you don't want to go with these uh, 56K uh, modems. You know, see, oh. see me? Look at me. No, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm flying well, with Why don't we ask him what a 56K modem is? Oh, Opie. Do you know, Brian? Yeah, 56 is, uh, you need to get something higher. You need to get up to like <laughs> 57, 58. Right. <laughs> Once you're at that level, then you're moving. <laughs> it's more gooder. The, uh, <laughs> more gooder. <laughs> more gooder. The cable modem's more gooder than the 56K. <laughs> cable modem. You got a cable coming into your house, you have access to the uh, cable vision and optimum online cable modem. High speed internet access. 100 times faster than any 56K connection. 100 times faster. Man, Not just quick. 57, 58. <laughs> There'll be downloads. You could get more perverts per minute telling you what you're into <laughs> with this connection. No waiting. No, none of these pictures scrolling down slowly. The disgusting pictures of wine bottles in various places. No. Mm, no. And it's uh, four times faster than DSL. Whatever that is, right, Brian? Uh, I, I wouldn't mess with that. Not when this is available. Yeah. And how's this? A holiday offer. 
Come into the Wiz right now and spend 100 bucks on anything, even gift certificates. You get a free high-speed cable modem when you sign up for 24 months of Optimum Online. $200 cable modem. Opie, free. Huh? What? Free. Huh? Ooh, what? Ooh. Free. Free. You could even go home and try Optimum Online free for 30 days. If you don't like it, return it for a full refund, but I doubt you will. It's so fast. You can go back to your old lame service, but I'm telling you, you won't want to. Hmm? So what are you waiting for? Go to the Wiz now and get Optimum Online from Cablevision. Uh, we're very happy today. We got one of our favorite guests in the studio, Brian yes. Regan. He's playing Caroline's all weekend long starting tonight through Sunday. Call Caroline's for uh, ticket info. Yeah. It's completely worth it. 212-757-4100. They will sell out fast, so uh, call now. Last time Brian was in town, he was talking about uh, some of our listeners and how they they show up to his shows with uh, signs, Anthony. Well, yeah, some of the... <laughs> uh, it's, uh... They do, yeah. Well, actually, when I was last time in town, after the rat show, people came out and they, you know, had written down things on, like, these poster boards, you know, <laughs> eat rats, or one person just had a, they just wrote rats. <laughs> I mean, what, what would, you know, make somebody want to, you know, hey, you know, you were talking, I gotta go buy a poster board <laughs> and write that word down, because that was the topic. <laughs> or it's like if they do have a little thought, you know, are you going to eat rats? It's like, this is what I'm thinking. So I have to write it and hold it over my head. This is my current thought. I want everyone to know what my current thought is. I might have another one next week and I'll write it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sign you know, it's like those people, that, you know, down in Florida, you know, you know, go the... gore is a moron. Oh, yeah, the protesters. You know, it's like, yeah. you got anything else to do with your life <laughs> that, you know, you come up with, it doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> you know, I, I, I would think if you got to write something on a poster, it should at least rhyme. Right. Or, you know, you have to go to jail or something. Something you know? catchy. You, you can't just write something that doesn't even rhyme doesn't, and isn't catchy in any way. Gore more gooder. <laughs> gore more gooder. <laughs> no, you, to you, Bush person. No. Why are you writing that down? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that is a true cluster F down there anyway. And yeah. I'm so sick of it. Like, there's nothing on the... And they keep covering it as the top story. And uh, they don't cover the important stories like Voyeur Bus busted <laughs> on Broadway. And that upsets us. Oh, man. <laughs> we should tell Brian about our little penthouse interview, Anthony. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we were in really? penthouse. Well, yeah. Wow. Latest issue of penthouse, Brian. Yeah. Big interview. Yeah. I have to pretend like I don't know anything about it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like we weren't just talking about it during commercial break. Oh, really? <laughs> Throw some acting skills. At <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> You're in a recent penthouse issue? That's fantastic. I bet it was awkward at Grandma's <laughs> for Thanksgiving when you had to show the family. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about it? If that indeed happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because <laughs> we're talking about it right now for the first time. <laughs> That's great. So they, they asked you questions and everything? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. certain questions. No, actually, we're urinating on each other like every other picture in Penthouse that they do. It's quite the pictorial, quite steamy. <laughs> Yeah, we're right after the fisting pictorial. Yeah, which made my uh, my dad and my mom very proud. <laughs> I got a, I got an email, as a matter of fact, from uh, these people that have a, a message board from... That's on the uh, internet there, Brian. Uh, I'm, I'm out of the loop on um, this topic. From the old high school I went to. And it was somebody all pissed off because the post was a uh, st former student in penthouse. <laughs> and the guy was all pissed that it was me. Because <laughs> when you think of a former student in penthouse, yeah, you could go yeah. through quite a few people before you got to me. <laughs> you know, like maybe the cheerleading squad or something. <laughs> the girl, Anthony. <laughs> they want to see you in penthouse. <laughs> now the odds of another person from school being in penthouse are, like, astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. So now, when you did show this to your, your grandmother. Yeah, at, at Thanksgiving, we had to go to our uh, family's houses and, and open it up to the appropriate page. Did you and I told Grandma it was a copy of Highlights magazine, <laughs> where you have to, you know, color and... 
fun kid stuff. It's like when the CIA releases documents, but they, they black out like 97% of the words, you know? These CIA documents are like, rocket, important, go, rocket. Why are you even bothering releasing this? So you gotta like show your grandmother, you know, Opie and Anthony... Show <laughs> radio. Hey, that's a good article. I'm proud of your grandson. Every other every other page is just black. Black, man. all blacked out. Man. We couldn't show it. And then the kids, of course, very excited that uh you know the uncle brought over a penthouse magazine <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Someday we're hoping to be in a magazine where we could just throw it down and people could check it out instead of having it in a paper bag. <laughs> like <and> sneaky. <laughs> Yeah, bring yeah. them into the other room so they could get a peek. We're really gunning for swank <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or uh, chic. Uh, One of those. <laughs> Horrible. There's a guy on the line that has a question for Brian. Uh, Vinny, what's going on? Yeah, oh, hey. Hey, hey, Vinny. Said, uh, Brian Regan, he's hilarious. Hey. I want to know where I can get his uh, information or anything. to get his, his CD on the Internet or is there a website we can go to? This guy, I, I could probably hand out ten of them for Christmas. Yeah, Brian, I mean, your CD, one of the hardest CDs uh, to find. <laughs> Seriously. I'm probably like the worst marketer in the history of... Well, you got to go to um, Ohio. <laughs> There's a little warehouse. It's Ohio. not in a major city. It's in the suburbs of Cincinnati. <laughs> All right, what's the street? <laughs> this guy will go. He'll go in a second, I'm telling you. No, actually, uh, they have it in uh, certain record stores. I, I've seen it in Borders, uh, like Music and Record Store. M music and Record. <laughs> music and Record. <laughs> We're Music and Record Store. <laughs> Those, we put it on the Victoria. And listen to Brian Regan. <laughs> crank it up because you got to use the crank. <laughs> get, en <laughs> get, get, en get enough juice generated so we can get through one Brian Regan, man. <laughs> um, but you can also go to like uh, Amazon.com and just where you type in the name of the person. You just put my name in there and it'll pop right up. Right in front of the pickle barrel at Olson's Mercantile. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go to Bud. Hey, Bud, you're next on NEW. Yeah, how you doing? Excuse right. me, I, I'm eating dinner. Yeah. All I right. just saw on Channel 2 News they're going to have an upcoming story about the Boyer bust. Yeah. The, uh, the title is First Amendment Rights. Ah, there oh, they go. are? Yeah, Channel 2 News. All right. right. Uh, it was on about uh, two seconds, well, two minutes ago, and it's quarter after five, so. All right, thank you, Bud. That's sure, cool. Sure, catch you later. They're still doing stories on the Boyer Giving bus. us my, updates. My yeah. favorite part of that call was the fact that he was eating dinner. And he had to tell us. <laughs> Why had to tell us that? Every caller, yeah. when they call in, you know, I'm, I'm eating a candy bar. Okay, my question is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about eating, a little hungry today. Um, what I want to ask? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit later, I might get some Chinese food. You guys, how long have you been on the air? <laughs> This is not what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah, remember that? <laughs> yeah, wow. That, you were like one of our first guests yeah. on this show. You came in when everyone still hated us. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of people that still hate us, but I mean, everyone hated us back then. But those calls were fun. Yeah. You, you know, know it's like, hey, we got Brian Regan fan on the phone. I lied. You suck. <laughs> Get off the air. Brian, I love you, though. But you guys <laughs> suck. Play some CCR. <laughs> it's whenever you're replacing anybody, you know, it's yeah. like people are used to something the way it is, and mm -hmm. you're, you're you're different from their schedule. So <laughs> this isn't what I'm used to. <laughs> I one time did a show, and nobody even told me. I, I I was like filling in. I do my whole show. Nobody really laughs. I get off stage. I look on the, all, all the tables are these table tents saying, you know, the amazing, you know, guy, some guy's name, <laughs> hypnotist. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody was there to be hypnotized. You know, I never got around to hypnotizing anybody. <laughs> oh, that's going to hypnotize. You know, people coming up after the show, how come you didn't make us act like chickens? <laughs> <laughs> you would think the booker would have said, hey, keep in mind, they're expecting a hypnotist. You might want to say something in your first two minutes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that you're not the hypnotist. <laughs> I wanted to sing like Madonna. <laughs> oh, boy. We have, uh, what's her name here? Outside, oh, didn't oh. she uh, first stop by? I well, saw, I saw some of the looks on people's faces. Are we really gonna bring Sandy Kane in? Sandy. Who do we have? Sandy <laughs> Kane. Yeah. Just stay the over on this. Or? Just stay over on this side. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I think. Actually, yeah. Is that Brian's jacket? Uh -huh. Yeah. You might want to move it. That. Yeah. I don't know what type of. Uh, Brian, the last time she came in here, she, like she showed us. No, you stay there. Hi. You stay there. Oh, here, put her over there. Put her over there in that chair by that mic. 
Pardon me? Rags to riches. Rags to, Rags that's, to bitches. No. Over here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's clean. I don't understand it. Uh, uh. No, do you remember Rags to Riches, that club? You were there. Oh, uh, yeah, ab absolutely. That's Hopefully right. Hopefully they forget. No, I thought you were talking about uh, uh, the movie Rags to Riches. And I was oh, like, there was a movie? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think there was. Yes, I did play in a club I called I never Rags thought Brian would be more uncomfortable Rags? than the rat show. <laughs> <laughs> you remember me from that. That's very kind. I do. I, you're that's, funny, man. Well, that's funny really is nice funny. Thank you, thank you. Funny, yeah. Now, what's your official title? Tell Brian. The comic stripper. She is president-elect uh. of the United States of America. Uh, no. <laughs> no I'm, I'm, I'm in jugs this month, and it says comic stripper, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, you're a comic stripper. I'm the comic stripper. Oh, great. I, I tell jugs naked. In jugs. If only we could be in jugs, Opie, <laughs> instead yeah. of penthouse, <laughs> to show that to our grandma. Yes. And laugh... Biz sucks. Comic stripper Sandy Kane says, "Laugh, biz sucks." I something tells me that you and Brian have a very similar act. It depends on on what night, you know. Okay. Like on an off night, I might take. I might get naked. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to see that. But I yeah. don't want to be stepping on you your toes. You know they say about Irish this? guys, oh. <laughs> what? That's what? what they say, but it's not true. Say what? Because when I used to work on the peep shows, the most well-endowed man <laughs> I ever met, I said, what are you? He says, I'm um, Irish. I said, wow, it's not true. Well, then I would like to make it clear that I am Irish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. There it is. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have a, do you have some examples of your uh, she brought your her, act? Her own microphone in. <laughs> yeah, she's got a big black <laughs> microphone. Well, Dildo I have to bring your own dance. microphone in. Dildo wanted to dance. He was rehearsing all week for the show. <laughs> Can you effing believe this woman? Right, Dildo. Okay. So Dildo is dancing. Yeah. Great, a visual joke on the radio. These go over very to well. Dancing school, <laughs> very well. Nothing funnier the, than a dancing dildo on radio. We have to give play-by-play -play on what's happening. And, you know, they don't have dancing schools for dildos. Not yet. <laughs> it's spinning. <laughs> the dildo is spinning, and it rounds the far turn, the half and 23 and 5, as they come down the stretch. <laughs> what the hell are you... It's a dancing dildo. dildo. They like you. They like you. You're talking yes, to the dildo. Cool. That's good. He's, he's just, you know, he's ne very nervous. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now give us an example of some of the the jokes you tell in your okay. act. Okay, you want to see two milkshakes? Oh. Another visual <laughs> bit. She uh, her, makes her boobs move. And I'll take <laughs> another classic uh, radio call. Oh my God, this is the worst catastrophe I've ever seen. Get out of the way. Oh no, the humanity. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Don't, okay, dildo. Like right. a joke. Just this. What? Now this she's it. adding this it together. Act, folks. You got dildo in my boobs. You got boobs on my dildo. Hey, hey, right. <laughs> this is me. I'm a dancer. Oh, look who's here. Right. It's uh, Jay Moore has just Jay, walked in. More Jay. Hey, Jay. Uh, hey, right. Jay. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, I wasn't hey, going to interrupt this. Brian, but Have I figured there's a stripper fed? here. <laughs> I wasn't going to uh, come in and interrupt Brian out of respect, and then I see a stripper with a dildo between her breasts, and I figured, hey. well, I guess that cat's <laughs> out of the bag. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> <laughs> break up the party. Well, he likes you, dildo. <laughs> She's stealing Bend your Bend over, Jay. Jay. You were great on Bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't You're the original lady, right? Mm -hmm. I, Not the I, one they replaced. Uh, uh, well, you, you Am say, I soaking it? You, oh, my God. You know, that's do we need Sandy, this language oh, on this man. program? We well, try to adhere to certain monologues. standards. I was cool. We try to, uh, you know, adhere to certain standards and practices here on the Open Anthony Hello. Gorgeous. Brian's at Caroline's. <laughs> Caroline's. Great. Tonight, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Brian, and Sunday. you can talk to me on air. It's okay. Hey, they know I about come? us. <laughs> yeah. Can I come? It's out. All right. Hold on. Can I come? <laughs> we don't sure, want him. Sure. Of course. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Brian's horrified. <laughs> and and justly so. I'd like to have sex with both these guys. All right. Hold on. Well, we don't want Brian to run out of the studio. Yeah. I really would love to have sex with both these men. That wow. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. I'm, sure it's, yeah. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's mutual. And you too, baby. <laughs> it's a nice off. Thank you. Great. I'm Three I'm thrown in too. Sure. I once had sex yeah. with five men, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's on yeah. a the to guy write with home five about. penises, yeah. his pants fit like a glove. <laughs> oh, that oh, was. Oh. Brian's going to start <laughs> thinking we want him to never come back <laughs> with the shows that we have when he comes in. I'm just trying to think of what bit I could possibly do right after that, you know? <laughs> hey, Fig Newtons, you know, when you buy them. <laughs> have you ever read the labels on a Fig Newtons box? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, my God. I, something tells me you don't get much. 
<laughs> no, I don't. I really don't. Maybe, yeah. it's, maybe it's a vibrator. Yeah, why don't you turn that off? Okay. Uh, There's just something so about an that's, electronic that's humming oh, sound that drives engineers crazy. Like, who, does, who do you like? I thought I was radar from MASH, and I was just hearing an incoming missile. I was like, how come no one else hears that? It's, it's going to be here any minute. But it was a... Uh, I'm talking like Brian. Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, it's coming over here. Should we... Uh, Sounds a like a vibrator. I love Dick. He's sweeter than ice cream on a stick. Oh, my God. That's my song. Hello. It's Hello. Is this thing on? It's still Hello. on. It's still on. All right, listen. Turn, turn the dildo on. Hey, dildo, they don't want a husband. Oh, got, like, God. drawings on it's it and stuff. Easy. Like, all right, listen. That what do you let elementary kids <laughs> spray <laughs> paint your dildo? <laughs> I had. I had um, left. Now we're gonna, <laughs> no balls. We're going to clean up the neighborhood, boys <laughs> no and girls. Balls, we're going to spray paint in this mural on this dildo. <laughs> Welcome to 125th Street. Please <laughs> no step balls. lively. It's, it's terrible. All right. Why don't we um uh, get Santa K some water? Brian playing. Where are you playing, Brian? We got some vodka, man. Caroline. All right, hold on. Where let's is it, Brian? Got some heroin. Caroline. I mean, Caroline's Brian shoot me Ring up with heroin. All right, let's. Oh my God! Okay. She's saying shoot me up with heroin. All right, why don't we get Robin Santa Kane out of the Dan studio Dan for a little while? Yeah, that Robin was a nice Dan introduction. That was good. That was a good introduction. Robert Danny well, Jr.'s coming. You know what I just figured out, lady? If you leave, I have a place to plug in my headset. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured that out. I was looking under the console, and yours is the Where? one. Where? All right, listen. Oh, oh God. God. God, no. Oh, it looks she like she's just sitting on her scarf. Sharon Stone make it like this. <laughs> what happened? Oh, Brian yeah, Riggins and Caroline? Did I, I get a look happened. at that? Yeah. What, What's wrong with that? What happened? Oh. I'm not looking at... She just, uh, she just never, opened up nice. her uh, legs. I do. Yeah. She got a big scar. Because Jay was looking for a place to plug in his headset. Oh, my God. God. Uh, hey. So anyway, oh. these Fig Newton labels. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have you on in a little while to show everyone your hemorrhoid. But, uh, okay, all right. All right, I yeah. watch Sandy's TV show sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It's go oh, when, can I just plug that? Yeah. Plug it? Um, oh. <laughs> just let me, I know my show give stinks, a, but... No, come on. Just give no, this Manhattan Neighborhood right Network is listening, and I want to say everyone, hello to Eminem. And uh, my new my show is coming back on the air with brand new shows this coming Saturday night, twelve thirty on Channel Fifty Seven and RCN. It's uh, one oh eight. So everyone watch. <laughs> Good plug. No All idea right. what she's saying. Good plug. Dildo will be on it too. What's the shut up, Demi? Right. What's the frequency, I mean, Kenneth? We have a few thousand people watching, right? All right. right. All you right. know, we're going to get back to you in a couple of minutes. Yeah. Because yeah. so why don't you just wait out in the lobby or. And I'm 57, or wherever you want to wait. <laughs> and right. um, make sure that the hemorrhoid is uh, ready to pop out okay, for later. Okay. Oh. I preparation H did oh. everyone. <laughs> okay, yeah. Your internet. I take this. All right, thank you, Sandy K. Thank you. We'll we'll talk to you, Brian. Yes. You'll be playing. I'm finally completely disgusted with our own program. Jay Moore. Wow. All right, all right, go. All right, there you go, Sandy. Uh, there goes Sandy K. Nice Jay Moore, Brian. Okay, there goes Sandy. Comedian. I'm just curious. Will you be a Caroline? I'm at Caroline's this weekend. Yeah. Brian is. Okay. Horrified. No, no, Brian no. Regan everything, and Caroline. Everything was cool. You think and I'm then, using yeah. that headset? You're crazy. Probably get ear cramps. <laughs> I, I think the French chef could cook what's uh, what's in her pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But she's doing her thing. I try to be oh. positive. She's out there. <laughs> yeah, I, try to, I try to see the good in all people. <laughs> no, she's got an act. You know, she's trying to... Bring on the thalidomide kid that uh, has sex with a pig. Bring him on. We'll get Brian. <laughs> you, I think your wife's horrified. Uh, yeah, I would be. Uh, You're okay? She's okay? She's okay. Right. I'm horrified. <laughs> yeah, but it's our show and I'm horrified. Well, I got to apologize to, you know, Brian Regan's uh, wife. I Half the show is an apology. <laughs> it's amazing. We apologize to our guests. You do an hour and then three hours of apology. It's like we don't know what's coming in. What is... Oh, my God! <laughs> We're not going to be able to get to all the apologies. We'll have to get, <laughs> yeah, we'll get the rest them over of into the next break. We're like, we're we're like that. you guys in like two years. No, you got married. Yeah. So Brian at the uh, what were you, Irvine Improv? Uh, Irvine Improv, yeah. yeah. And that Caroline. And you guys were just getting married. That's right. Yeah. And now we're we'll married. Good for you, man. When did yeah. you get married? Uh, two years ago. Yeah? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's Things good. are going well? It's going great. We didn't believe it up until we brought his wife in. I got like 20 minutes in. of material out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just look at them and they kind of write themselves. These, uh, <laughs> these wives, these wives gags. I'm sure that's very romantic for her to that, that she knows. That I got 20 more minutes now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank She's you so the... much for being in my life. 20 minutes is a lot when you got to do an hour. <laughs> All right. Why don't we take a break? Jay's got the uh, the the wives getting ready for bed bit is really good.
<laughs> so, like, uh, when you're proposing, I was wondering if you could be included <laughs> in my 20 minutes. No, we'll still, like, love each other and all that. <laughs> but I could get 20 minutes out of it. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, her name is Nicole. Nicole. That's yeah. great, man. Well, good for you guys. Good for you guys. What are you talking about? I don't about? want to sound like I'm bragging, but I got 25 minutes out of cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 25 <laughs> minutes of material. She's got more layers than mine. <laughs> She's uh, she's heavily layered. She's 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 deep. She's Multifaceted. An old, she's an old soul. Yeah. She's uh, she shows a few more cards. If you want. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. All right. Yes. Brian Regan playing Caroline's all weekend long, starting tonight through Sunday. Call Caroline's for ticket tonight, info. Uh, Eight o'clock tonight. Two one two seven five seven. I want to go. Forty one hundred. Shut up! <laughs> this is Brian Regan's plug. I'm helping. I'm asking Brian Regan pertinent. People need the phone number. Bastard. 212-757-4100. It's, like, it's kind of like a car wreck on the highway. You're going to have to you know, you tune us in to see what the hell these idiots are doing next. Obi and Anthony. We refuse to be responsible. So go screw yourself. We refuse to be responsible. 1027. W-N-E-W. Obi Anthony. <laughs> This is a God-given talent to be this stupid and this funny and this filthy. All right, we're hanging with Brian Regan today, Anthony. Yes. He's horrified once again, so we did our job. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know how, how this happens. <laughs> Every time. We're like that friend where like they, they drink the sour milk and they're like, oh, this is awful. Try it. <laughs> yeah, taste this. Wait, Wait, they, well, next time I come in, I'm just going to have like black tape over my eyes, you know, duct tape. <laughs> yeah, you better. I'm not going to see anything. <laughs> I barely want to listen. Uh, Brian Regan playing uh, Caroline's all weekend long starting tonight. Call Caroline's for tickets. I'm telling you, you'll laugh your yam bag off. Uh, 212-757-4100. Sure a lot of people want to say hi. Uh, Brian, what's going on? Yo, what's up? Hey, man. Yo, I got to thank you for, uh, for getting that hemorrhoid woman out of there, first of all. Yeah, we figured we'd mix it up a little bit, but that went horribly, yeah. that went horribly wrong, huh? Mix it up. You don't want to, you know, blow her out all in one sitting. Oh. Hey, See, oh, I could hey. say blow out, but you can't say that. I mean, blow. Yeah, all right. We know. Or, eh, hope he, hope anyway, he listen, gets us listen. down the hall. You're not really going to have her back on, are you? Um, Maybe to show, yeah. off, show off the hemorrhoid, you know, after Brian leaves. Yeah. I'll stick oh, around. So, you, so you're going to put Jay Moore through the, through the torment. I'll stick around. I think we're corrupting this guy. You know, man. This, Brian Reagan, he, he works clean, okay? Absolutely but, clean. You could take a child to his act, and, and it's hysterical. I do believe this guy has a six side, though. A couple of more of these shows, he's going to get on stage. Hickory dickory dog. This chick, hey, I'm Brian Regan. I'm the legend. Oh! So what happened to all the childhood stuff? It's like, you know, the rat thing last time. It's like, you, you guys were, like, really cool, like, well, we know you got to go, and it, there's something about me that just couldn't leave. Like, yeah, I, I got to watch this, man. These guys are going to be eating these damn rats. <laughs> I got to see it. And now there's a hemorrhoid. A hemorrhoid waiting to uh, pop out. You ever read the panel on Fig Newtons? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I had this Fig Newton in this chick. Oh! <laughs> uh, Andrew Dice Regan. <laughs> the big yellow one's the sun, you deaf and see. Oh! <laughs> oh a, cup of dirt. <laughs> a cup of I dirt. I call it cup of dirt, you stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> More good. I yeah, love it, man. <laughs> uh, B- Brooks, what's going on? Hey, what's up, O&A? How's it going? All right. Uh, I'm a big Brian Regan fan. I just want to let you guys know that I had pizza for lunch today. Um, <laughs> I, uh, listen, I just wanted to congratulate Brian on being funny as, as anything and still keeping his act clean. Uh, yeah, thanks. Bro. I mean, that's just, I've seen him. Uh, I'm originally from North Carolina, and I saw him down there in Charlotte, and we're going Friday night. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a cool, great man. show. It's a great show. I'm not going to be in Charlotte Friday night. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate no, I'm going the to Carolina. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy. Right on, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just had pizza. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, can I can I request a bit? Because I'm like, look at you. Well, I'm a big fan though, and I, you know, hey, you man. still got the snow cone. <laughs> 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 Lousy <laughs> little leg. I like I like donut lady. Donut lady. Yeah, I like donut lady. 
You know, <laughs> I'll just get right into it. Yeah. It's interesting you mention that. Because uh, I bought some donuts today. Which is a weird coincidence. <laughs> you know, they, the, those ladies that work in the donut places, I just, I feel so bad for them because people can't make up their mind, you know. People go in there and they freak out. They just, like, walk in. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, I want a, a dozen donuts and, uh, oh, <laughs> you got a lot of donuts. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm going to start with uh, four chocolate, I want I want two twisty goos, I want a lemon twirler, I want honey honey twiff, I want a, a raspberry puffy twirl, no, two chocolate, no, one, put them back, put them back, I want a Bavarian apple crunch, get the ladder. Hey, hey, why don't you go out inside and think it over, huh? It's a big decision, you can't blow donut day. But the donut ladies, they, they know how to get back. They know how to get back at you. They do the subtraction for you in front of all the other customers and make you look stupid. You go in there, um, yeah, I'd like a dozen donuts. I'll start with, uh, I'll start with seven chocolate. You have five left. Oh, oh, okay. All right, if I order one more, then how many would I have left? How many would I have then, donut lady? That's what I need to know and now. <laughs> I don't know how she does it, man. <laughs> I think she's palming a clicker. <laughs> she's cupping some kind of advantage. God damn. <laughs> That's great stuff. I could do that. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's, he's talking about donuts, and he doesn't mention, he, uh, like, whores. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that, man. Andrew Dice Regan, okay? <laughs> Another direction I could take that. Sure, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Come to the dark side, okay? <laughs> now let's say Donut Lady starts playing ring toss on your meat. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> When you go to the show tonight, I'll be I'll be throwing that in. <laughs> what? I don't believe he's doing it. Right, right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Cyril checking in. Uh, coincidence? He's eating donuts right now. Yeah. <laughs> More people telling telling us what he's eating. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm having dinner right now. Okay, my question: <laughs> pizza. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, let's go to George. George, what's up? Hey, George. Uh. I'm listening on the radio to a 27-second delay. <laughs> I haven't heard them ask for me yet uh, through the radio, but uh, they're talking to me on the phone. George uh, is gathering his thoughts. Which should I acknowledge, phone or radio? Right, well, well, right now he's writing them down on a placard. Well, I write it, then I read it. <laughs> <laughs> I hold it over my head on Oak Tag. <laughs> Wait, I'm driving. <laughs> my current thought. <laughs> uh, Jim, what's going on? Yeah, what's up? Hey. Hey, yeah, I had a funny at the airport the other day. I was checking in my bags for the flight, and the woman said, have a good flight. And I said, you too. Uh, I felt yeah. like a freaking tool. That's one of my favorite Brian Regan. You lists. feel so bad for saying that. When I listened to uh, your, your bit you were doing on it, it's like, God damn. You, you just, you can never get over that embarrassment. You just have to run away. Run away. That happened to me about four months ago at the airport, I swear. <laughs> you did it. And the, the, the reservations gave me the, uh, the tickets, and she said, enjoy your flight. I said, you too. And I said, I don't believe I just did that. <laughs> and she goes, oh, it happens all the time. I'm like, listen, you have no idea. No, you don't know how bad this is. <laughs> you have no idea how dumb of an error this is coming from me. She had no idea what I was talking about. So I just slinked away. You too, in case you fly later. If you get on a plane sometime, then you enjoy your flight then. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to say. If you think if about it. If you have a chance to have a flight. <laughs> get a chance. It's not easy to get a chance to have a flight. If you get a chance to have a flight, then I would take it. Get on in and enjoy it. You too. Holy Jesus. In case you fly. No, you too. Brian, can I, can I request one other thing? And you don't have, you don't have to do the whole thing. Sure. It, it do a donut lady again. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love that one. You're obviously... Just keep doing it. You're obviously in New York for the weekend. Yes. With your lovely wife. Yes. Playing Carolines, huh? Good, right? That's right. All weekend long, call Carolines, 212-757-4100. 
Are you uh, staying at a hotel or at a friend's house? <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice, Opie. <laughs> this must be on your mind. <laughs> Too subtle. <laughs> I just love that one, the, the one well, part of the bed. Actually, you don't yeah, have to do the whole thing. I'm staying but. at a, uh, I'm staying at a friend's house. Yeah, yeah. They're letting me uh, sleep on their fold-out couch, <laughs> which is nice. You know, it's nice when people put you up, but people don't sleep on their own fold-out couch. They have no idea what a torture rack the thing is. You know, they mean well. It's like, oh, here you can sleep on it. <laughs> hey, they're opening up this big thing. It's all cockeyed. There's one leg that won't even hit the ground. They're brushing off old Pop-Tart crumbs. And they're flapping sheets all over hell. We're going to get it all set up. We're going to get it all set up. You, you feel goofy just standing there with your hands on your hips. Yeah, set it up. Set it up for me. Let me know when it's all set. All set up. <laughs> And then they have a mattress, you know, it's about like a quarter inch thick. And they have that death bar going right down the middle. You know, it's like you're sleeping on the top of a doghouse. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> the next morning, did you sleep well? Uh, yeah, once I got under the couch with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm not in a hotel. <laughs> they I'm not staying because they hotel. insisted that, that you stay with them. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> hey Jay, Jay's back. Hey, Jay's Jay. back in business. Brian, isn't there a donut shop right by the <laughs> people's house that you're yes. staying? Yes, there is, Jay. I went in there. <laughs> No, there is. Seriously. <laughs> I don't think Jay heard the last. <laughs> Where were you, Jay? People listening. He, does he just have the two jokes? <laughs> uh, Tony, what's going on? Tony. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, we're hanging with Brian Regan. Yeah, uh, I was just thinking about Brian the other day because uh, I went to a, a McDonald's drive thru and I ordered those, uh, those supersized meals that they give you. Yeah. They gave me those huge sodas and I couldn't fit into my cup holder and I'm going out to everybody in my car like, I should have gone the medium. I should have gone the medium. medium. Nobody got what I was saying. <laughs> I think medium is the most ludicrous size anyway. What, what, what does that mean, you know? And what I do, you know what, what you do when you go into these places? You order an extra medium. <laughs> and that just throws them for a loop. You know, the guy just turns around. He's like, oh. <laughs> See him talking with the manager. I don't know. I, he said he wanted an extra medium. <laughs> and I'm looking at the mediums. I don't know how to extra it. <laughs> You go into these fast food places, they got the cup size display hanging from a string. You know, some kid had to tie it up in the air conditioning duct, you know. There they are. They're the cup sizes. Check them over carefully because it's time to pick a cup. And next to the big one, there's a big arrow and it says, best value. What, what kind of thing is that to do? Why do you have the other two? What does that to do? To you? Why, why are you doing that to your customers? You want the best? That's the best. This is the nitwit size. <laughs> this is our fool's cup. What, what are people like looking up? I don't know what to. I don't know which one to. They got a, so many. Wait a second. That one has an arrow. That one has a big arrow. And it says best. Yeah, they wouldn't lie, man. They wouldn't lie to you. It's unli unlimited refills on all sizes. It's, it's all you want for 89 cents, all you want for a dollar nine, or all you want for a dollar 49. Yeah, you go for that best value. You keep digging for more coins. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Caroline's. <laughs> Tonight, tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, he kills every time he's in town. Are you guys going to go? Yeah, we'll be there tomorrow night. Tomorrow know what, night? You know what Brian did for us? I got to thank you. We went and saw him at another comedy club last time he was in town. I bought him a free drink, Jake. He, uh, <laughs> it's mighty white of you. <laughs> Appreciate it. He found out that we were staying for the second show. He, yeah. he changed his entire act just, <laughs> yeah, just to suit us. Even though it was a whole new audience. Yeah. Everyone, you know, wasn't there for the first day. I did Jay's act. I, I was tapped on my own stuff. Yours has been working for me, a colleague, for years. That old get out of a hole, that, that, that Regan shovel. Let's, let's go, They're let's, not buying my stuff. Oh, ever, ever go to the donut shop? Let's go to Beth. Beth, what's up? Hey. Hey. I wanted to let Brian know that uh, 
he doesn't know how many times he's referred to in our family. All during the Subway <laughs> series, my brothers and I are like, all right, two way. Two way, two way, and then you do it out in a club, and you wait for like you like a sports bar, and you wait for one guy in the back to go. What the hell does that mean? And you're like, dude, Brian Regan fan. It's from, you know when I, I used to play on right field. You know, I never knew what was going on out there, and and the uh, <laughs> second baseman would like do the Texas Longhorn thing with his hands and do, Brian, two away, two away, Brian. You know, like I'm some kind of moron. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two away, Brian. Thank you for the information. <laughs> the special attention. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I didn't know where to stand in right field either. <laughs> I don't know what it is with the infielders. You know, they think they think they know what's going on. The, the second baseman would turn around and, and always tell me to stand somewhere other than where I already was. <laughs> Brian, back up. Brian, a little bit to the right. You know, like I'm a little, I actually just have strings, uh, you know, Mr. Puppet. You direct me, Mr. Second Baseman. I don't know anything. I'm an outfielder. Direct me to an appropriate position that you would know about being an infielder and all. <laughs> God damn. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm? Uh, Manny, what's going on? Man what? is freaking funny. Can you tell <laughs> can you please a request? Can you have him do that uh, dumb student uh, skit? You know what? Please. You could go to Caroline's. Yeah. I'll say. Ah, come on. I'll save Brian fifteen minutes. I, that's you'll you'll be doing that at yeah, Caroline's. Yeah, I, I throw that in here. Yeah, it's kind of a lengthy thing, man. But yeah. I appreciate it. You know? Yeah, he'll do it at Caroline's, Manny. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot. Man. Uh, we actually played it on the air yesterday for everybody, and uh, Brian will do it live at Caroline's. Stupid in school. It's uh, it's hilarious. Manny, bring a friend. That's a good Christmas present. Take somebody to a Brian Regan show. There you go. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Wow. Good Christmas present. Hey, look at that, man. Scratching my back. And I think you should go see the next uh, Jay Moore motion picture. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say it. These plugs are like on different levels. <laughs> you can go see Brian at Teehees, <laughs> or else you can go see a Christmas blockbuster motion picture <laughs> with Jay Moore. And we're on the other side, Brian. <laughs> and don't forget to pick up Penthouse for <laughs> yeah. Opie and Anthony at yeah. Penthouse. <laughs> and, of course, Jugs Magazine has Sandy Kane in it and her hemorrhoid. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh golly. It's just a I melting drove. pot. <laughs> Brian's one of the only comics that I ever drove to go see. He was at Irvine and that's like an hour out of LA and I made my wife get in the car and we drove all the way down to Irvine to see him. Man. Rush hour traffic. I'm very flattered. Really not, not Dina Cola? Not a... No way. <laughs> <laughs> no Brian I, I would drive to see uh, like Chris Rock Trying to think, like Otto and George, I go out of my way to see. <laughs> I, I would see a Jay Moore movie, but not if I had to drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like him, but if it was like right across the street, go, yeah, I'll walk over there. Well, <laughs> fortunately, you can see him when you fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that, that, no, that's pretty much a theme. <laughs> Jay Moore, it's good rental, right? <laughs> Jay Moore, and it's Jay Moore's. <laughs> Jay Moore's. Yeah, they had the ass. Jay Moore's in that? I like Jay Moore's. Jay Moore's. Hey, let's go to Matt. Matt, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. What's up, Jay and Brian? Hey, hey what's up, man? Yo, I had a question Just, for Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was down south in Georgia last summer, and I saw a movie, and in the trailer, I know you know, when they, like, going. when they show you, oh, you do? No, 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 I'm thinking of something else. I don't know oh, where okay. anything is going. <laughs> when, when, you know, in the beginning brain. of the movie, they have the stupid candy dancing, like, let's go to the lobby? Right, right. Well, I saw one with Brian, who was like, hey, let's go get some popcorn. That's right. And then you, you see him at the thing. I only saw it like three times, though. It was the funniest stuff. Uh, Ryan didn't wait, you, you were on it. You were in the right. like, movie it's thing? A, uh, w Ryan didn't seem too happy about this information. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that porn film in the 70s, Brian? You had what? the big 70s mustache, pork chop sideburns, <laughs> Did the and you're with two other guys. Oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> Did the rabbit live, Brian? How's the rabbit? I remember it looked like it got stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was uh, Coca-Cola did these like little trailers, you know, there's like a minute long before the before the movie started. And uh, it was me just ordering a Coke and a popcorn and then doing one of my bits, you know. But what was interesting is, you know, I, I would like the, the very first take, you know, I said, yeah, I'd like to have a Coke and a popcorn. And they go, cut, cut. <laughs> 
large popcorn <laughs> and large Coke. Large Coke. I'm like, okay, I see what this is all about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is all I'm about large. Coke. My <laughs> buy large Coke. <laughs> not not about my little comedy sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Say large, delicious, wonderful Coca-Cola, then that little comedy thing. You Succulent. <laughs> 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 but it, it was fun, man. It was fun to do. I'm glad that guy saw it. All right, let's go to Vito. The phone calls are going wild now. Vito, what's up? Hey, what's up, Brian? You are one funny mother effer. Thank there you, you Vito. Hey, listen, I got to ask you. I got to ask you a question. Yes. I'm having a little problem cooking pop tarts in a microwave. You got any suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, Even your sharp. listeners are good set up. Very <laughs> sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I don't understand. You know, when you do look at the pop tart box, you know, they got the directions. I mean, can there be a simpler food item? <laughs> then pop tarts, like if the directions weren't on there, would somebody just set the box in front of them and just look at it like, oh. <sighs> How do I get that goodness in me? <laughs> Where do you go? How do you start? <laughs> but you don't have to fret because they got directions. They have two sets. They have toaster directions, which is more than one step. It just kills me that toaster directions are longer than one step. You think it would be step one, toast the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Go ahead, toast them. <laughs> hey, are you still reading this? <laughs> but they've managed to break it up into smaller increments. These are, these, these are like the actual steps. Number one, I swear, it says remove pastry from pouch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let me get them out of the pouch. All right. I see where they're going with this. I think we're banging on all cylinders now. Okay, number two, insert pastry. Okay, we got the pastry all organized. Insert pastry vertically. Oh, oh no. That's when your brain explodes and the whole vertical concept. I mean, at one point, do they, do they just start assuming you would understand certain things, you know? <laughs> And then the microwave directions. I, I, I had no idea you could microwave a Pop-Tart. How long does it take to toast a Pop-Tart? You know, a, a minute and a half if you want it dark. People don't, have, people don't have that kind of time. You know, if you need to zap fry your Pop-Tarts before you head out the door, you might want to loosen up your schedule. And I swear, it says microwave on high for three seconds. <laughs> I don't think I want to wake up and be eating in three seconds, you know? The alarm goes off, put it in, ding, ding, oh, it's late, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> if you're waking, eating, and hauling in three seconds, it's time for a change of lifestyle. Pick up some Montana brochures or something. <laughs> I don't know if that answers your question. What a coincidence that that guy was asking a Pop-Tart question. Yeah, because I happen to know about Pop-Tarts. Yeah, I had the advice right there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, what's going on? Kenneth. Yeah, man, I just want to let him know, man. He's funny. He's hysterical, man. Yeah. yeah. We, we tell you guys every time he comes to town, man. Thank you, Kenneth. Hey, no problem, brother. All right, tickets All right. going fast. Caroline's Brian Regan, tonight through Sunday. 212-757-4100 for ticket info. I think we're all going tomorrow night. Make sure you make reservations. Yeah. Comics like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we know you're coming. Yeah, we get call all, ahead. We get all juiced up beforehand. Call ahead. <laughs> make sure you make a reservation. Oh, it, goes down in, it goes down in the ledger. <laughs> that you will be at the party. All the inside info we're getting here from the uh, <laughs> comics. Jay knows all about that kind of thing, man. You got to call in and, and get reservations. <laughs> you got to call it. If you don't, they don't give us our dope backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I let that slip? <laughs> they got us trained. <laughs> hey, Bob, what's up? Hey. Hey. Brian, you're great. Thank you, man. Listen, my, my kind of humor doesn't go over good in my house with three daughters. Uh-oh. My wife's like, keep your mouth shut around these kids. But you would, you'd, fit, you'd slide in right, right between Bing Crosby Christmas and... Uh, <laughs> All my Christmas CDs. I got to get that boxing CD. Yeah, man. What's the name of that CD? Uh, I, I came up with a really fancy title. Brian Regan Live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I sweated That's for good. I like that. That, all, that whole volcano scene, it's totally my wife. Man. I, told, <laughs> I told my wife, Mike, say, keep the kids home from school. Why don't you go bring the project to school? You built it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot, man. Hey, great. Th thanks, man. 
Bye-bye. And you can get it on um, Amazon.com. Inspiring people. I wasn't sure. Brian Regan. I wasn't sure if that guy was complimenting you in the beginning when he said you were like Bing Crosby and Christmas CD. Christmas CD, right? Is he really slamming you? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, rock and roll to you, buddy. Let's go to you. Let's go to Derek. You're like Charo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back at you. It's, you it's too. Weird. When people come up and they like, you know, they say they like you and somebody else, and then the other person is like so off the chart, <laughs> yeah. you don't know how to take it. You and Bozo the Clown <laughs> like gotta the be the, the funniest two guys on the planet. When he honks his nose, <laughs> and when you do your routines. <laughs> Hey, thank you, man. <laughs> when I watch you, you know what I see? Frank Stallone and the parrot from Beretta. <laughs> <laughs> you light me up, man. Doesn't that just negate the compliment? It, it just They're negates gone, the know? compliment completely. It's like, you rule, man. And then they tell you about stuff you've done, and it's like some of the stuff that you're proud of. And then they just turn around and say something like, yeah, bozo. Or, I really like that. There's some real hack. Like, oh, Christ. Just throw everything out the window. Couldn't you have dropped dead of a stroke before you got to that part of the compliment? I like you. I like the kind of stuff you do, and I like when somebody sticks a pie in somebody's <laughs> face. <laughs> I just laugh, you know, because a pie, you don't know, hey, it's in his face, you know? <laughs> And your stuff, too. The stuff you do in the pie. <laughs> Dude, I think you're talented, man. You make me laugh. Do you, hey, do you know Sinbad? You ever met him? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you wow. run into him? Because you, right. like, you two guys are the best. Wow. <laughs> and Laverne and Shirley just cracks me up. <laughs> you know when they go, who could be that stupid? Hello. And then they walk through the door. <laughs> That's that gag. So now I got to throw in. I like Sinbad. I, I, gotta I thought so. I, I, te- I saw a little I tension like, there. I, I, I like Sinbad and Shirley. Well. I like that show. L- look, at, look at Jay now. I like Sinbad. No, too. I will go on the record saying I do think Sinbad is funny. Do you? Yeah. All right. Uh, really uh, Derek, what's... Pull punches. Yeah. Derek, Derek, I've never seen him. <laughs> I do think he's very funny. Derek, hey, what's up? Hey, O and A. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Jay? Brian? Yes, sir. Hey, Brian, I saw you up in Boston a, a while ago, uh-huh. and uh, I'm not really sure about the bit, but I know I know it involved the station wagon and your little brother. Uh, do, you rem- do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, the closer when he asked for something else. <laughs> <laughs> My big five-minute thank you and good night thing? Ah, uh, yeah, great. You think I'm going to do that here? <laughs> Go to Caroline. The thing that makes him stand up thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Could you do that high on Brian Regan thing? Do that thing where there's no reason for anybody to come out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Two, we're two bits away from uh, having people not show up if they just heard everything. Yeah, I think we taped it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's on It's on Napster right now. Yeah, right. Downloaded for nothing. <laughs> That's what's good about Brian Regan. Brian Regan's got, these guys forgotten more material than I've ever written. There you go. He's got hundreds of stuff. Brian Regan at Caroline's. Are you drunk? Uh, Are you dr- I've been we laughing. do have some champagne here. I've been laughing for the last He's hour. He's got hundreds of stuff. <laughs> Hun- hundreds, hundreds of stuff, and hundreds. each one more gooder than the last. Hey, you guys behave. I'm, I'm bringing Sonny Kane back in here. <laughs> I'm glad you got that, Brian. Uh, I got, it's out on the marquee. Brian Regan, hundreds of stuff. <laughs> That's the next CD title. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a great title. For hundreds of stuff. Hundreds of stuff. That would be a great name. It would be funny. Because there's hundreds of stuff in it. All right, all right. I'm going to bring Santa Kane back in with the hemorrhoids. <laughs> there's hundreds of stuff right, bring, in the CD. Jay's loving it. Bring Sandy back in. Oh, no. You're punishing right. everybody. Don't Sandy. punish Brian Regan because I had Brian, do you really Brian, yeah. do you really want to check out the hemorrhoid? Uh, you know, he I, doesn't want to uh, say uh, yes, but he'll stick around. Well, you know, it depends on how graphic <laughs> and how close it gets to how you. How hemorrhoidal the hemorrhoid is. <laughs> and I, I don't know if I literally want to see a hemorrhoid. I've never seen a hemorrhoid. How's your hemorrhoid donut, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it would be unfair for me to, you know, I mean, that would be her time. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Not- is that one of the hundreds of stuff that you have that is extremely funny? I'm trying to be diplomatic. <laughs> diplomatic? Yeah. What are you dealing with? <laughs> nice enough to let me do my thing. I'll let her do her thing. Truly the nicest guy in comedy. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. I don't want to step on her toes. You know, she's got things to promote. Jugs Magazine. You got, hey, you never know who's going to pop one day. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe like that last hemorrhoid. Last opportunity to see it. It's like know? popcorn. Some pop, some don't. You never know. Oh, that television show on Venus that she was <laughs> You may need a paper promoting. from her one day. <laughs> oh, God, if it ever gets to that point, shoot me. <laughs> if you want to talk to Johnny, you got to go through Sandy. <laughs> all right, I was hoping we'd all see the hemorrhoid and bond, but I guess not. You, you know. know, I'd like to hear, like, the, the preliminary conversations about it and then write... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, bring Sandy back in here. <laughs> bring Sandy in. Hundreds of stuff. All right, all right, Jay. We're down to 98. <laughs> yeah, so Brian Regan at Caroline's. Tonight through Sunday, whew, you will not be disappointed at the hundreds of stuff. Okay, you can bring. So bring San dog. here comes Sandy. When I come into town, I'm always like, who's at Caroline's? And if it's somebody good, I get all excited that I'm in New York. So who's that, Rick? Brian. Thank you, Jay. You Phil, this is the guy that called up earlier and wants to rub the lotion. Oh, I love. Oh my God, Wait, really? Age. This guy wants to put got a tie on and everything. This yeah. guy wants to put preparation age. You on. look like a normal guy. Yeah, well, so did Ted Bundy. So did Ted Bundy. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at one seven. So did Ted Bundy. Um, I loved that, that enough, show, Mac. <laughs> All right, she's talking to her dildo again, All Anthony. Right, no, this is my husband. Um, I'm Sandy. Oh my Sandy, God. Um, I'm not lucky enough to have a girlfriend like you. Didn't we quickly forget how annoying it is to have her in here until she gets back in? You're like, wow, well, it really was really <laughs> annoying. Right. Can I say rear? Can you say uh, yeah, whatever? Can they'll you say vagina. They'll deal with it down the hallway. Anybody can say rear. Right. <laughs> can you say rear? Can you say the A word? Just don't say anything. A H. <laughs> How about we start A -H. there? <laughs> yeah, the word rear is pretty much accepted That's everywhere. Rear end. It just matters the context. Say, There's not say. too many places you can't get away with I'm rear. Public <laughs> access, you can say anything. Maybe a few right. board meetings. Okay. Uh, like I'm, I'm doing it with a donkey. I can't even think of a board meeting where they where they wouldn't appreciate you can do it the word with a rear. Donkey. Tolerate it. She's donkey just donkey going and going. She doesn't stop. Uh, worse. There's four people talking at the same time. All right. All right. This uh, is always Sandy. Good. I know I'm a pig. I know it. <laughs> Will somebody put this retard out of his misery? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been this annoyed since that bitch from Big Brother was here. <laughs> oh God, oh. damn. <laughs> Brittany. Hey, you didn't you uh, yeah, you didn't sh let me show my my breasts here. Or, well, I mean, there's a reason for that. Divine and delightful. Don't I hide them. Why don't you why don't you show Jay up? Jay Moore is here. Uh, you know? one, they one, love him. Uh, I'm only here because Brian Regan. Last here. night I was watching Action with Jay and All I was right. taking my breasts and it's like Brian Regan time, honey. I mean, <laughs> no, oh sorry. Brian Regan. No, no, no. You Brian Regan. 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 Yes. Series, baby. I'm yes. Brian yes. Ronald Regan. Let me say this, Mr. Gorbachev, cover up those boobs. I want to meet up Brian to impress Jody Foster. <laughs> I thought her boobs were Gorby's head hey, until I judge. saw him. It no, had no stain. If you're Reagan, i got to do something to Brian to... Uh, <laughs> All right, Sandy, Sandy. All right. What do you want to do? you got a few minutes here. You What's wanna... this? Oh. Yeah, we... Oh, oh God. What is she doing? She's holding up pictures of other women in the magazine. I'm not opposed to that. That isn't you. I'm not opposed to that photo. That isn't you. <laughs> Jay's not opposed to no, that I photo. I don't mind that photo. That is accepted. What's the problem with that? Yeah. <laughs> Sandy. Well, I'm in jugs this month, so... Yeah, Sandy, what do you want to show jugs. us? What do you want to show us? What do you want to do? The real jugs. All right, let's see your... How can you tell okay. when they hang down to your waist, they're real? Uh, all right, let's... Uh, okay. <laughs> Would you like to see them? Brian, uh, there's still time to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to review they, my notes. Is, <laughs> Brian, I, if you leave, Go over your act. Me and my worry. middle finger were going crazy for you last night. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. What, oh. oh, God. I'm sorry. All right, well, what... You got... Oh, my don't God. Worry. I think That's I just swallowed my chew. Which one do I like? <laughs> It'll make you less nauseous, Jay. Like, like Ron <laughs> Guidry when it, line drive comes back at him. This girl was showing the boobs. Like in the Bronx Zoo. You ever read the Bronx Zoo? Me and my middle finger. No, Jay. It's incredible. No, Jack. Okay, what happens now? You liar. You Jay's just, just talking about it. I'm trying to keep everybody's mind away from the like hemorrhoid. It's right. like a three-ring circus. I know. Yeah. Three different <laughs> things <laughs> happening. <laughs> Only all in the same ring. <laughs> I'm just talking over uh, Sandy. Okay. Right. I really feel like I'm undressing because I feel so comfortable naked. Oh, my God. Oh, Don't get she naked. Goes. No, She's seriously. undressing. You're now you'll see the ravage of a law called gravity. I asked Sandy how old she was. She wouldn't tell me. I said, can you keep a secret? Yeah. Yeah. That's mine. I want really? you to tell me exactly where you were when you found out that Let's Lincoln count the was rings. shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut her in half and count the rings. Sandy, you can tell the age. I can't believe you talked over that line. Know, that was a it's not, line. It's not like you're, know, you're 30 and you oh, look you 25, you know? Hey, that was a good I, joke. Hey, I mean, where were you the moment okay? you heard Lincoln? No, was I mean, shot. You, you don't have to keep over, it secret. Over 30, though. I mean, I'm over 30. Wow, I never would have guessed that. 
I'm over 30, baby, so. Over 30 year old. How long do we have to wait? Because you really don't have the body where you can, like, do the uh, tantalizing angle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, make his weight. <laughs> tantalizing. And, you know, we're, like, going, oh, right. I hope you take your I time. Wouldn't... Why? Don't, you don't think I have a great body? <clears throat> Yeah, mm-hmm. actually, for a woman your age, that I, as, as old, if you're <laughs> the age I think you are. I'd like to see you naked, Jay. Uh, I'm sure there's something you could download. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to show the hemorrhoid? Uh, oh, okay. Because oh, this guy here wants to rub he, uh, preparation age on your hemorrhoid. You're old school. She's wearing the pasties. Okay, let me just take take my, my uh, top. <laughs> She's one, <okay>? old school. <laughs> She's really old school. <laughs> Well, you go right to the right to the hemorrhoid, you guys. Oh man! Yeah, aren't we? Yeah, you can't really work that man. tantalizing angle when you got a it's body like that. It's nothing sacred anymore. You can't. Oh, I'm gonna get sick. You should have a really <laughs> fast striptease song. Gee, I should pay for you. Hey know, guys, I don't believe it, but <laughs> <laughs> look at the I'm time. Looking at the clock. The I gotta driver, get out of here, man. The cab driver tipped me. You guys are gonna tip me for this a lot. Your stripping song should be like the countdown to New Year's. Oh really? Yeah, because only like ten seconds long. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hope they get that done. Yeah, you can't refer to a, Yeah, you can't refer to breasts as the T word. Oh, I, oh my God! What has she got? Oh Holy judged. Jesus! I I thought They're I'd never. Judged, I thought I would never say this to a woman. Put your clothes yeah. back on. A nude woman turn around and say, "Could you put your clothes back on? What are you okay, doing?" I just want to light my breasts on fire because I have I a lot it, of fans listening. They all said, "Sand, you're gonna lighten your breasts up," and I said, "Yes, I'll be on Opie and." Anthony Lyons. I smell vermin poon tang. Oh, <laughs> so, I mean, uh, this is for my fans. No oh, one in this God. room. Are those wants blasting to see. caps? <laughs> Excuse me? Are those blasting caps? <laughs> Hundreds what, of what stuff. What happened to your nips, right? <laughs> oh, my God. What is she doing? What is, them off. What's right? going on there? Oh! She's both. Oh, there's a I hole mean, in your nipple. Oh, my God. Are you lactating? I can't, I can't, I can't take this. <laughs> she I can't take match. this. She just a put a match girls. in the hole in her nipple. Where there is supposed to be the nip, oh there God, is a I'm hole. Oh, chills looking at Are you it. getting the heebie-jeebies? No, I yeah. burnt them. I burnt them off one night. So they go in now? And uh, they never grew back. Show World. You work in I'm the A-rooms. Oh, some, did, you uh, uh, did you get compensation? Did you get compensation? Did you get compensation from Show World? Were out on comp? So they got a good plan over there. His, uh, what are that? Penis. The Hartford goes through. Uh... Rudy Giuliani came. He says, "Hey, yeah, you deserve some kind." In York, that's why. Wow, him. that's nice. That's that's she, wonderful. She's lighting her boobs on fire. That's good. Yeah, mm. they're both lit it's up. Really hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm wishing for an oxygen atmosphere in here right now, or hydrogen, something. <laughs> yeah, Apollo something One. Something to kill Apollo One oh, or yeah. the Hindenburg, uh, anything. Uh, you look like two miles of bad road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available for New Year's Eve. Oh yeah. That yes. would be a party. And birthday parties. What is that? A proposition? Uh, okay, you want. What are you doing for New Year's? Now? Sandy K's mean, coming over. Well, Jay, Jay wants to see her hemorrhoid. She rented the whole. Jay the wants to see her hemorrhoid. I Jay, do you want to see her hemorrhoid? Opie, what? you missed my hemorrhoid. I, I, I don't know what a hemorrhoid time. looks know. like, so I don't even know if what you're showing I mean, me is you a hemorrhoid. Really made me you'll know. It, baby. All right, show it's Jay. one of those things you'll just you, know. You tell me. Show Jay. I, I, no, I, I, do I don't want to see it. Show, show Jay. <laughs> Show this no, guy. No, because Brian will get collateral it. damage if he shows Jay. <laughs> He'll take shrapnel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look at, look at Brian. Just like, Ma, oh, God, why didn't I leave? If you're listening, Mom. Why didn't I leave? Okay, you want to No, I don't. Do you like it in the rear? Well, no, I do not. Do you ever, do you ever do that to a woman in the rear? <laughs> okay. Well, this I is. Not answer that question. Why did we bring her back? This here? is so just disgusting. I now. know. I know. I'm All right, just show Jay your hemorrhoid so we can no. move on. Right. No. That's cute. See, that's okay. Why, 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 why is she doing this? Okay. Why is she on? This guy. Brought All right, this guy over here. Age, yeah. Man. Get the girl from the Big Brother back. Swing the mic over to I mean, this gentleman over here. Who yeah. Did Brian this? Regan's at Caroline's this weekend. Yes. Yeah. yeah we're listening to. What the, are the show times? No, we're li- we're listening to the comedic stylings of Brian Regan right now. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> All right, she's still talking now, <laughs> sir. Yes. What, what's your name or the name you want to give? <laughs> Phil. And you brought some preparation H. I did. You have a glove on? I do. He's you, put, yeah. He's, he's putting on a biohazard on. suit. <laughs> Not, yeah, he's, it looks like Outbreak. <laughs> looks like the Michelin Man. <laughs> Bubble suit. That hemorrhoid is older than I am. Now you have, it probably is. You have uh, preparation H, the glove, and you're going to apply this to her hemorrhoid. Sure. No, I, 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 you know, I'm getting the heebie jeebies right here. This, this definitely seems like a. 
better idea about three okay, hours listen, ago. My hemorrhoid loves you. You're a very good-looking guy. It's not going to wink at me, is it? What did you think it was going to be? <laughs> he said, it's a, oh, this is worse than I expected. <laughs> what did you, you expect? Hey, Brian. Hi. Brian. No, don't be You know, I look like Britney Spears, and I really want you to apply this. I really don't have hemorrhoids, and I'm going to turn around. You're going to apply it that way with your own special applicator. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, guys? Yeah, let's but go. But he gets yeah. this. I'm just going to... Brian, like the Yeah, first, Brian, like you Brian. just you just sit tight. <laughs> Brian, the first five times I was here, Brian, it was like young strippers. And now look at what we got. Cousins were making out. That's all right. You go do Girls your Girls were getting their hoods pierced. I'm going to come see you tonight. All right. All right. Quit let's your, go, quit your talking. But wait, wait, wait. Before you do this, a Jay or someone is going to have to mic her. Don't look at me. You got to swing the mic just around and then use it again. <laughs> Now, don't do anything yet. Put the mic in front of her face. This is live, Jay. This is live, baby. All right. Now, uh, give us a little three, two, one countdown, and then, then just let it rip. And don't be shy. Wait, really get in there. Time she was in here. You're not going to fart again, are you? Uh, oh, I, I'd love it if she farted. Oh, good. I would like to. I would like to. Let me see. This is horrific. <laughs> so, Brian, do you like watching fishing on TV? <laughs> Speaking of fishing. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. A trout. Do you have any fart sounds? Huh? No. See, next time. Now, don't you worry. Just just get on the mic. show, you will hear farts. Get on the mic. Bend over. And, By the way, uh, I'm on Manhattan Neighbor Network. All right. All right, all right. Shut up. Saturday night at... <laughs> no, give her the mic, give but the but tell her to shut up. Fifty-seven. There you go. Twelve thirty. Last time she bent over to show her hemorrhoid, she farted in poor Steve's face. <laughs> and he loved it. Yeah. All right, Phil. Yeah. He's, a, he's a very Phil. Kinky, yes. He's a very um. Kinky guy. He's a very kinky guy. Apply the. Uh, right, apply the Look ointment. <laughs> Look at Phil. <laughs> now go ahead. Now really get in there. Get a good one. <laughs> oh my lord. All right, ready? I don't oh. believe this. Give her the mic. She needs to spread those cheeks. This never happened before. Uh, I used you to know, like my act I alone. You used to show world. I don't believe you. Three. But, but alone. All right, here we go. Three, two. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe this is going to happen. No, 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 it's no. a career, Ma. Don't, you know, don't take it seriously. the best sound ever. I don't believe it. <laughs> you know, the good thing about this is going to completely erase the memory of guys eating rats. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be completely whitewashed from my mind. I don't believe it. That's very cute, though, so I just... I gotta hear that before we leave. Are you ready? This guy, do it already. Go ahead. I really would like Jay to do it. I mean, no. then I could say someday, no. Jay Moore touched my hemorrhoid. All right, go ahead. Do it. Phil. What action? Phil, touch, <laughs> touch her hemorrhoid. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think wow. that's it, baby. Uh, that that just my, happened. My thrill. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> wow. That just <laughs> happened. You're not very gentle. <laughs> I don't know. That's very gentle. He went for a good one. That last one, he gave her a good poke. <laughs> that actually. He gave happened. her the pokerizer. Uh, <laughs> he's not very gentle. All right, well, hey, what is that you open? No, you that's okay. Oh my god, you dude. Look more gentle. I don't care about any fire hazards. Start a fire in here right now and burn that glove. <laughs> I don't care if the halon goes off. I'm going to give my turn to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. I hear you. I'll, I'll pass, pass it along. I'll pass the with. password is hemorrhoid. <laughs> it goes the to producer. Brian. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Up, man. I'll pass wins. <laughs> eh, eh. All right, well. Okay. well, well, well All right. I'm so yeah. glad that happened. <laughs> Can I go again? Can I ask you a question? One, one more time. One more, one more time. That uh, hemorrhoid might, must be pretty infected or something, the way you reacted by somebody touching it. I think maybe you should seek medical attention. Yeah. That guy yeah. put his finger on it, and you went, oh, yeah. like dead that night was... from Caddyshack. Let's go to the hospital kind of noise. <laughs> oh, you're no gentleman. You're supposed to be able to apply ointment to a hemorrhoid without going, oh. How about a fresco? Absolutely not. All right, listen. All right, one, yeah, one, no. You want to do one more application? All right, one more poke. All right, I don't think you got it all. Oh, my God. Do a really good one, Phil. You want to make it perfectly clear that, that Brian is not checking this out. That 
that poor glove. <laughs> you know, expected to be unwrapped by some nice housewife and wash a few dishes. <laughs> now the glove's like, why me? I was sitting on the rack. I get this. I thought maybe a couple of teacups and I'd be put away in the cabinet. <laughs> and antisol suppository. I don't like preparation age personally. All right, let's go. Ben, you so much. Let's let's go. Show the hell. Phil, oh, Phil make Jewish. sure. Pretty Jewish. You can... <laughs> Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> Phil, this is gonna look good on your resume. Oh, boy. It's a real resume what stuffer. What do you do for really. a living? Phil, what do you do for a living? Um, in marketing. <laughs> there you go. Is your mother listening? I do this to my mother. Uh, All right, everyone be quiet. All right, shh, shh. Get on mic. Here's a joke there. You didn't catch it. Give us a little countdown. Bring it to your mother. Give us a three, two, one. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Right, here Come we go. On, oh! Oh! Oh. That's, <laughs> that hurts. That's... You, you, I see, used two. You hate women, my This isn't oh, right. He used two. Two. Uh-huh. See, you hate this is this is awful. I can't well, even take this. Okay. I'm That's turning how you myself show in. You hate women. And he, don't you think he hates women? Do you <laughs> like I'm turning myself in. Be I can't take this. Yeah. Be gentle. What a woman. I'm, a, I'm still a woman, baby. <laughs> oh this is gonna be, Brian, again, I apologize <laughs> for this program. <laughs> but we learned a lesson. If you want to show you like women, <laughs> don't, don't do what Phil did. <laughs> don't use two fingers. Fingers. Man, yeah, cut your nails now. <laughs> oh. She said Phil should cut his nails now. Hey. Phil, did you... Phil, because you're on the other side of the room, and I, don't, I didn't want to witness any of it. Could you let us know how you God, use your fingers in the... I mean, did you actually pen it say instead? Hold on. Um, what you can say is, did you actually um, make your fingers disappear? See, that's how you could say it. Because what made her go, oh! But you can't say where. The Amazo Phil the Magician. <laughs> she tried to... Is in the room, room with up. us. <laughs> Oh, no, God, poor I, Brian. I think we got a full Phil, slate. did your fingers <laughs> disappear? Were you trying to make your fingers disappear? I was trying to get knuckle deep. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all right. I, I appreciate it. Phil, did God. you see the hemorrhoid? I didn't actually see the hemorrhoid, but I felt it. Phil. Did you ever watch a doctor show now? You're supposed to take the gloves from the bottom, Phil, pull it over finger. the top. Over the top. And not touching... Anything. The, the, anything. Make a fist like. Now, yeah, now pull it over the top, Marcus <laughs> Welby. <laughs> Rub it all over your hair, Phil. Oh, God. Oh, Something oh, dripped. Yeah. The glove broke. Oh, and... no, the glove broke. The glove broke. Well, yeah, the glove broke. Right, so like, like the virus is airborne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, come on. All right, listen, listen. We that got... is worse than <laughs> Ebola right now. <laughs> and it could do more damage. Now. Yeah, put that in a jar and we'll auction it off on eBay. Yeah, for Patty's rent. Come on. All right, listen, Sandy, we want to thank you for coming by. That yeah. was Sandy. Very good. That's a hell of an act you got. <laughs> it's all right. Can yeah. I give one more pl plug? Honey, plug I my think you've been plugged up. enough. Hey, he's gorgeous, You didn't Rick. seem Thanks to enjoy it when me. the other fellow was he's trying to plug you. Vic Delgado? Mm. What are you doing later? Let's exchange blood tests. <laughs> um, oh, or maybe, maybe my hair... Oh, thank you. Isn't that nice? You see he smelt his finger, though. I got... I, are you allowed to say that? <laughs> Smell like a right, latex just, living glove. Uh, uh, just don't say rear. Whatever you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, you rules can st stick things in it, but you just there. can't say it. You gay guys, eat your heart out. But anyway, I'm going to be on, on my own sh show. Are you gay? Are you gay? Uh, no, my boyfriend no. Uh, no, but we are willing to <laughs> learn. My boyfriend is. Yo, yeah, just send us someplace special. Poor Brian thought the rat sign was bad. Now it's going to be a big hemorrhoid sign. <laughs> oh, no. Touch the hemorrhoid. <laughs> All right. Touch the hemorrhoid. Do you think that's sexy, a hemorrhoid? you think that's sexy? Uh, Sandy, yeah. Sandy Kane. Next time Sandy, I, thank I, you so I much. I promise Final next thoughts? I will eat Mexican food before Fin I come here. Uh, Final thoughts? Uh, 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 yeah. Just everyone uh, watch yeah. my show uh, this Saturday uh, night on right. Channel 57, okay. Manhattan right. Neighborhood Network, okay. and on RCN. It's a, a 10, uh, 108 at 12.30 Saturday night. It's what was also that? Gonna be all right, thank you, Sandy. Yes, Could you hey, say that again? Hey, All right. from Jersey, like All right. myself. All right, thank you, Sandy. Sandy Kane, thank, Kane thank you very much. All right. All right. There we go. Manhattan Navy Network. There we go. <laughs> Sandy it's Kane, also gonna be on thank you night. so it's very nice. much. <laughs> thank you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs> so, Brian, uh, kid party games. <laughs> <laughs>
Sandy. Yes, of course, Sandy. Yes. Okay. That was good. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank um, you, Sandy Kane, everybody. Um, security. Sandy Kane. Yes. Sandy, you, uh, <laughs> Sandy. Sandy. Uh, you, you have exceeded your allotment. Okay, uh, take your uh, take your dancing dildo, Sandy Kane. Yeah, I'm in Jugs this month. Too, yeah, so. Jugs. Yes, yes. Jugs. Hemp. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.